Four is the number of life and death. Four runes in endless spirals are beginning, destiny, fate, and end of man's body and soul. Four are the directions from which the wind carries the dust. Four, the number of elements from which we are spawned and to which we return at the end of days. It is the original number, the number of the kin, father, mother, son and daughter. It is the number of the seasons, of man and earth. Fourfold are the sides of the solar cross. It is the number of the rivers upon which life draws. Earth, he did not create it as a wasteland, but as a homestead. Sons it raised and exalted, but deaf to its commands, they went their way. And it said, Mankind, you've struggled with all those words of advice. Let them step up and save you. The stargazers. The sky conjurers who prophesize doom to you with every new moon. And it awoke. Earth, sun, moon, and stars to punish mankind. Einstein has fallen. Newton has been bent. False gods to strap onto beasts of burden in the cities, torn and desecrated. Four is the number of the riders, and they herald doom, as there are four masters of immortality so close to Earth, biding their time in damp chambers. But they will awake with true intention. To build the city, it said, four-sided like a pyramid, and in its shadows truth will thrive. Alpha and Omega, beginning and end, life and death. Eight is the number of the Creator, who descends from up above. Mankind will wonder, its name uninscribed into the Book of Life since the world began. As it looks up to him, who was and is not, of the infinite, of he who comes and goes, he with whom everything rises and with whom everything falls. And earth may gape open and salvation may bloom. Eightfold the lotus leaves uncurl wherever the wind blows. Eightfold, like the wind roses arrows, its pollen spreads, spewed skyward with relish. Eyes, legs, everything, eightfold. She rises from the dark, climbs the highest mountains, and blocks the deepest valleys, hunting for the sixfold ones. Eight is her number. Twelve is the number of the tribes the jackal consorts with. It sleeps amongst them and feeds amongst them. Twelve are the moons, too, dividing the year. Twelve the temperaments that free the mind from the crowd. Twelve is the number of the zodiac whose children slumber fitfully in everyone waiting to be unleashed. Buried within the number, both creator's names. Hope and despair are the sum of twelve. When the perfection of unity rushes the mind of every being of the threefold four. By air and sea and on earth. Sixteen is the number of the stranger, the newcomer. Sixteen are his revelations. Sixteen is the number of his heralds who devastate the land. 
Eight plus eight is the number of the two creators, fighting for dominion. Eight plus eight, two infinities, consuming eternity in their conflict. Instinct versus intellect. Flesh versus spirit. Chaos versus order. One and six is the number of the people that will fight for the crown. One and six is the number of the plagues that ravage them. One and six are the points of the axis drawn upon the enemy's skin. One and six, the breeding chambers, the veritable hell, will rise from. Four times four is the number that completes the solar cross when all things return to their point of origin and the circle closes forever. Time terminates itself. <laughs>